Good evening, all the fellows and the delegates. Myself, Dr. Nidhi Yadav, junior resident in second year from the Department of Radio Diagnosis, IMS BHU. And my paper's topic is percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage in malignant observation obstruction. It is an observational study done at our center. So gallbladder cancer has a very poor prognosis with overall survival of only 5 to 20 percent and most of the patients die within the first six months of their uh, diagnosis. Jaundice in gallbladder or couple endocarcinoma is due to CBD invasion by gallbladder neck mask, hilum invasion by infiltrative mask, lymph node compression, intraluminal tumor extension or liver metastasis. Jaundice when occurs in gallbladder or perendocarcinoma makes the patient not amenable to surgical or chemotherapy treatment as biliary drainage is the first and most important step for palliation. Percutaneous biliary drainage after endoscopic drainage or surgery is one of the methods for biliary drainage. Most of the patients first endoscopically the biliary drainage is tried and if it is failed, percutaneous biliary drainage is done under fluoroscopy or ultrasound or both. The aim of this study was to determine outcome, complication, impact on quality of life of PTBD patients presenting with malignant obstructive jaundice. It is an observational study from 1st February to 1st March 2022 in patients which came to our department um, referred from the surgical oncology with obstructive jaundice due to gallbladder or cholangiocarcinoma. Whenever the patient comes after planning the patient for PTPD, we first take a written informed consent by all the patients and during the planning, CBC, LFT, RFT, viral markers, PTINR and ultrasound abdomen was done. USG was done for assessment of the ascites, the effusion, level of obstruction by the mass and whether the directed ducts are present or not. In patients with deranged PTINR, we first correct the PTNR um, by FFP transfusion during or before the procedure. Whenever uh, the patient has ascites, we drain the uh, ascites by malicot catheter insertion. And if the albumin is deranged, we give the IV albumin coverage also. Patient is followed uh, after the PTVD for any complication for one month. During the procedure, all the procedures were performed under local anesthesia by 2% lignocaine injection. And after, uh, first with the ultrasound guidance, a peripheral uh, bile duct is uh, prefer, uh, seen for a good puncture. And preferably, preferably at our center, we chose the right anterior septal duct. However, if there is a right level of atrophy or there is metastasis uh, in the path of the preferred bile duct, we choose a different duct or from the left level lobe. If the functional um, liver is mostly by the left level lobe. After the puncture by a chima needle, which is a 20 gauge needle, whenever the free flow of the bile is uh, bile comes, we first take the 2 to 3 ml for the bile puncture and sensitivity. And after that, a guide wire is passed to the puncture needle and exchanged with the sheet. On the sheet, the thermo guide wire is uh, then advanced in the bile duct, and over it, complete catheter is advanced. Multiple cholangiograms are taken and the whole system is manipulated through the uh, bile duct. Whenever the, uh, there is a maximum narrowing, we try to manipulate it through the structure. If uh, the structure is not uh, passed, then uh, we either do the external, uh, external drainage by malicot catheter of eight trench. And if the um, structure is passed, then we will go further to the duodenum and then exchange it with the ring catheter of eight trench. The phallectic antibiotic coverage is given to all of our patients and when the um, dye culture and sensitivity reports come, we change the uh, antibiotic according to the sensitivity. So these are the uh, fluoroscopy uh, images which were taken during the PTBD procedure in uh, all of the in our patients. The first, first is the cholangiogram taken after the initial puncture. We can see a, a straight Shiva needle and the right anterior septal ducts which are directed. The second image is taken from a comfy catheter and um, we can see the maximum point of narrowing uh, in the proximal CBD. The third image uh, is after the ring delivery catheter placement and we can see the duodenal pores uh, which are opacified uh, by the dye. So uh, we sampled total 19 patients 
two were from less than 30 years, seven were from 30 to 45 years, six were from 40 to 60 years age group, and four were more than 60 years of age group. Here we can see that majority of the patients were between 30 to 60 years. So uh, the onset of the gallbladder of endoplasma, which when detected, is very early. Uh, among the total patients, eight were males and 11 were females. Well, um, as I have told, the, we prefer the right approach whenever we um, first puncture the needle. So in our 15, uh, 19 patients, 15 patients were approached from the right side and three patients were approached from the left side. Uh, in, among these three patients, one was one was initially punctured from the left side and other two were first tried from the right side and then the, when we were able to uh, manipulate from uh, manipulate across the structure we preferred the right uh, we then shifted to the left side and in one patient both right and left system uh, drainage was done as uh, there was infiltration of the hilum and both the systems were separate in two patients external drainage was done as we were unable to pass through the um, structure in 16 patient external internal ring barrieric catheter was placed and in one patient stent was placed in a later of a follow-up period after one month and during the procedure two patients showed complication and uh, as initial puncture bleed however the bleed was uh, the bleed was stopped uh, immediately and uh, there was no further complication in those two patients Two patients um, and other showed the complications after the procedure within the one week. Two patients had cholangitis, five patients had pedicatheter leak, four patients had displaced catheter tip, and one had other complication, which was procedure related, and it was hepatic artery pseudoaneurysm. However, that pseudoaneurysm was also managed at our center by embolization. Among, uh, during the follow up, with, uh, 16 patients were alive in the first week, 10 patients were alive in the, uh, after the second week, and 7 patients were alive uh, after the complete follow-up. Uh, so we can see initially uh, within the two weeks, majority of uh, half of the patient uh, died, and it was most likely due to the terminal, the terminal ill patient, as most of the patients which are referred to us are at the last stage of their cancer. Uh, after the procedure, there was significant reduction in total bilirubin in total six patients uh, after the one week. And among these, four patients were started on chemotherapy during the uh, follow-up period. And in two patients, repeat PTBD was done because of displaced ring delivery catheter. Um, pericatheter leak was treated by either desuturing or upsizing the catheter. And pericatheter uh, leak was the most common complication in our follow-up. The bile culture, uh, which was sent during the procedure, was sterile in eight patients. Pseudomonas aeruginosa infection was uh, seen in three patients, and all of these died before completing antibiotic regimen, but that is within the uh, first week. And E. coli was detected in two patients, in which the antibiotic was changed, and patients were uh, okay after the follow-up. So, PTBD uh, is a standard procedure used to relieve obstructive jaundice in malignant behavior obstruction, which is secondary to gallbladder or pharyngocarcinoma. It reduces the risk of pharyngitis. It is a feasible uh, procedure. Com uh, complications are common in PTBD uh, with occlusion dislodgement, pharyngitis, and pericatheter leak being the most common. At our center, pericatheter leak was most common. Complications are more common in external PTBD drainage and external internal drainage. A randomized study compared PTBD procedure with endoscopic drainage in carcinoma gallbladder and it showed that there was improved outcome in the form of better success rate in PTBD and low incidence of cholangitis. However, there was no significant change in quality of life of patients because uh, the, these patients have are terminally ill, so weight loss and reduced appetite, all these um, features and pain abdomen, all these features continue to be uh, there even after the PTBD procedure and reduced bilirubin levels. And various studies evaluated the quality of life after PTBD in malignant hyaluronic obstruction and showed a de significant decrease in quality of life after PTBD. Uh, it, was, uh, it was most likely uh, due to the complications related to the PTBD procedure. So in conclusion, 
genres due to pulmonary cancer have a high incidence of locally advanced metastatic disease. Biliary drainage should be done to relieve patient's symptom, improve quality of life, and enable further treatment. However, there is no significant improvement in quality of life by higher success rate in rate of QTBD. But uh, adequate post procedure care can improve their outcome. Thank you. These are my references.